and welcome, it's me, Marls44, and welcome back to another Card Fight Vanguard, Card Fight Area, Deck Profile. Today's Deck Profile, we have the, uh, man <laughs> of the storms, Thavis. So yeah, uh, with the release of the Aquaforce Trial Deck and um, G Booster 1, uh, this bad boy and lots of support for it came out, and it's a really, really strong deck. Uh, this is post Fighters Collection 2015, though, because there's one card that made this one stride card that came out that uh, made this deck even a little better. Um, not by a whole lot, but definitely, definitely makes a difference. Um, anyways, but yeah, just really strong deck, really strong at being the Aqua Force it always is. Uh, Aqua Force normally being those meta decks and getting off multiple, multiple, multiple hits uh, that it always does. So, yeah, let's move right into the deck profile. Um, so, our starter is uh, Officer Cadet Andre, uh, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, and put it in your soul, choose another of your rear guards, and until end of turn, gets auto. Once per turn at the end of the battle, does this unit attack the vanguard, stand this unit, and this unit uh, gets power plus 2000 until end of turn. So, this card actually works really well with a few cards in the deck. Uh, all the grade 2s it can work well with. Um, Tidal Assault, it has to be more, it ha you have to be using Lambros uh, to work well with it, but... The other two can kind of be at any time, um, and it just uh, and then you can use it with the grade threes if you have any grade three rear guards as well, uh, just to restand them, get give them an extra two and get an extra hit. So um, because of the fact that you don't play Diamantes and stuff, um, you really don't need Eric in this deck. And I know Eric's a great starter, but one of the biggest reasons was because you just don't want to ride in some Diamantes, but. Um, Good thing is, we don't need him in this deck because of just <laughs> what this deck has on support, um, which I love. Yeah, so just a really solid starter for just adding on more of that pressure. You can play Eric if you want. I just, uh, it, I, it's just much better to play her because you, you don't need Eric as much as you used to in uh, the Aqua Force decks, basically. Anyways. Our grade three is uh, trans. Uh, sorry, for transcendent of storms, Thavis, generation break two. When this unit attacks Vanguard, if it is the fourth battle of the turn or more until the end of the battle, gets crit plus one, and your opponent cannot call grade zero cards from their hand to Guardian Circle. Oh crap! Sorry, pulled on my headset. Um. So yeah, Silent Tom ability with extra crit. Of course, the glory abilities are normally better. Uh, so I don't use this ability very often, but. Once in a while, it can come in handy uh, to just put some pressure on or anything, so. Not a terrible ability. Uh, but its second skill is what I what, what makes this card just ridiculous. Um, during your turn, when your G unit stride, choose one of your vanguards, and until end of turn, it gets auto vanguard when your unit attacks a vanguard. If it is the fourth battle of the turn, choose three of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent chooses one from among them and retires it. So, <laughs> it's a free cost. No pay at all. When you stride, the turn you stride, you, you know, you, your vanguard attacks, you choose three of the rear guards, and your opponent kills one of them. So, it definitely puts on a lot of pressure, except, especially for the fact that you... Aqua Force just gets on so many multiple attacks that now you get to retire something every time you stride on top of this card. So, makes it quite scary and, um, yeah, uh, definitely a threat to be reckoned with. Um, anyways, moving on to our other grade threes, we have two Tetra Drive Dragon. I'll explain why in a moment. Let's look at the other one first. And then two Glory Maelstrom. So the reason I play two Tetra and two Maelstrom is because there's really not much else you can play in this deck that'll work really, really well. Like, I know you could probably play some Legion cards, like some Legion um, grade threes, but I feel they don't work as well in the deck, especially what for what you want your grade 2 lineup to be, um, because that grade 2 lineup is really important. Um, so, because of that, uh, you know, I ran 2 Tetra and 2 Glory. 2 Glory because Ultimate Break, well, you have to be a 5. If it was Limit Break, I'd run 4 Glory, no problem. But, because you have to be a 5 damage, uh, it does make it more 
you know, conditional. Um, and Tetra Drive, well, it can still work well with the deck. Um, it's a good finisher if you're at 4 damage, and Glory is a good finisher if you're at 5 damage. If you, you didn't kill your opponent, if you didn't beat your opponent um, with Lambros, with your two Lambros strides. Um, so they're kind of the finisher after that, that, okay, I gotta... I gotta get something to finish it. Uh, Tetra can... Tetra's definitely... Um, um, eh, sorry, not making sense. Tetra also, uh, to ride into right away, isn't bad. Um, because it does threaten your opponent for when you hit Limit Break 4, you can get a re-standing Vanguard. Um, that's that's always very threatening. I know it's just Tetra Drive, but... Um, it, it's, it's, still, it's still quite threatening. Um, so... Yeah, it's it's not a bad back of Vanguard if you don't have Thavis. Um yeah. So let's move on to our grade twos. We have four Battle Siren Road, so four twelve K beaters. And four Magnum Assault. So what he does is once per turn, generation brick one, counter blast one, and at the end of the battle this unit attack a Vanguard. This unit is boosted during the battle, you can pay the cost. If you do stand this unit and the end of the turn, this unit gets power plus two thousand. And even if you don't use it, you can't restand it with this effect. So you have to use him first, and then you use the starter's skill to restand with an extra 2k. But that's still a good, you know, three attacks with him. And if you're using Lambros that turn, you can make it four attacks. And and three of those four attacks will be with an extra 10k. So that's <laughs> that's definitely really scary. And same thing goes with Tidal Assault, which also we do have four of. So, <laughs> eight different great twos that uh, can make it go to four battles. Um, easy peasy, right? Um, we have more cards that can do that, though. Great ones. But, anyways, yeah, so Tidal Assault, same thing with if you do not use his ability, uh, you can't use I believe you can't use it again. Yeah. Oh, no, it can't be used until the rest of the turn. My bad. I didn't... <laughs> Look over, read it. So you can use the starter's ability to restand him first, and then um, restand it. Um, like restand title with his own after you use the starters. But uh, he's definitely more the one. He's definitely the one. If you're gonna use it on him, use it on the turn you use Lambros because he could just be hitting for high numbers. But still, he can get four attacks as well if you use the starter on him. Uh, so one of them will be three, and one of them will be four. But uh, most of those attacks will be with an extra 10k, it's in it, 10k, and it's just really, really, really scary and really threatening. A lot of the time it ends games, um, very uncommon that it does not, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, just, yeah, really solid grade 2 lineup. Pretty standard, but very, very strong and very solid. Um, anyways, we have four Guardian of the Seas, Platoon, the unflip, the damage unflipper, Perfect Guard, um, speaking of damage on flipping, Tetra Drive, normally, you do have, uh, two damage to use to, like, finish off a battle, or even with Glory, because normally, you either on flip damage with this card, or you get a heal trigger, one or the other, or maybe even both. <laughs> so, normally, you do have enough damage, um, to use, like, Counter Blast, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> for Kelpie Rider Nikki, um... Your uh, Thavis Searcher, so he'll th search for Thavis uh, to get him if you have another grade 3 in hand, if you call him, you know, that standard thing. And he's also your stride enabler, so gets plus 2 when you stride. Um, yeah. And then we have 3 Battle Siren Sutashia. Um, generation Break 1. During your turn, this unit gets continuous rearguard. This unit can attack from back, back row. And auto rearguard when this unit attacks, if it is in your back row, this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of the battle. So she can attack from the back row, uh, and you normally want to have, you know, a 12k beater in front, or one of your grade 3s, um, if, you know, unless you want to stride with the grade 3, so make sure it's a 12k beater. Uh, but, yeah, definitely really solid card. Uh, it doesn't have to attack the vanguard to get the extra plus 3, I believe. When I read it, uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't have to attack the vanguard, so you can just hit regards for 9k with this card in the back row. Um, definitely a really solid card. You normally don't use it too later on in the game, but early on, it's definitely 
uh, really handy uh, for just getting an extra extra attack, you know, like you always need. Um, but yeah, um, there are times you can just swing with her and hit something if you don't have any other cards, like Magnum Assault or Tidal Assault, but 99.9% .9 of the time you will have either Tidal Assault or Magnum Assault, <laughs> so there's, there's no worry about using her all throughout, um, yeah, but she's just a very solid, very strong card as well. Um, and then we have two Battle Siren Orthia. Um, what she does is once per turn generation break one, uh, counter blast one and soul blast one at the end of the battle. This unit attack a, and this unit boosted a rear guard. You can pay the cost if you do choose one of the boosted units uh, during that battle. Stand it, and that unit gets power plus minus five thousand. Sorry, until end of turn. And if you do not use pay the cost, this ability can't be used for the rest of the turn. Um, so, and its its other skill is. This unit cannot be chosen by the effect of your opponent's cards, so it can't be killed, basically. Like, if you're fighting Kagero or any or Narukami, this card can't be killed by it. Uh, so definitely a solid card. Uh, you only need two because you only use this card on the turn you use Lambros uh, to just restand and get more attacks. Um, other than that, there's really you don't really use her like she's she's a good booster but you don't really use her other than that um so yeah there's that <laughs> um normally she sits behind like you know a 12k or something 12k beater or something but yeah that's of course if you don't have title assault or magnum assault but but still um a very strong card. Um, only need two of them. She comes in handy about half of the time because normally what you normally use is fine. But she's a very good card. Um, if you don't want to run her, you could play the uh, flashing signal light penguin soldier to just you know so blast two and draw a card. That's the other option. Uh, I do like playing her, and she can't die, which is very important in Aqua Force because you know. Uh, Against Aqua Force, you're so focused on killing their rear guards, uh, especially on against certain decks, it's trouble. So, very good card. But yeah, you can play this Penguin Soldier and replace her with it if you'd like. Up to you. Anyways, on to triggers. So we have four Blue Storm Marine General Dispinia. So when this unit boosts a card with Maelstrom. If it is the fourth battle, turn or more until end of turn. Your opponent cannot call Grade Zero cards to Guardian Circle. So basically. With Glory's ultimate break and her skill, <laughs> your opponent can't guard at all. So, pretty broken. Um, <laughs> and then we have Officer Cadet Alex Pose. Uh, so, what he does is generation break one. At the end of the battle, this unit attack, choose one of your rear guards, and exchange the position with this unit if you do return this unit to your deck and shuffle your deck. Um, so, he's just an extra card in case you really, really, really need it to get the extra attack off. Um, and then we have, that was the wrong guard, <laughs> and then we have four Rainbow Sniper, and four Battle Siren Carolonia. So, uh, Rainbow Trigger's pretty solid, um, because, well, you stand a lot in this deck, but the four stands are very helpful, and especially their skills are help. the, the stand skills are helpful, but um, how you play this deck, uh, all of it really works, and on top of the factor of the reason for for crit is because you need the crit for more pressure. Um, you have so much stand that you don't need overly too much stand, and that's why Rainbow Triggers works very, very well in this deck. Works <laughs> insanely well, honestly, and especially with uh, Glory Maelstrom too. It adds on another reason to do it. Um, I mean, I wouldn't pick it for that reason, but you know. Anyways. Onto our stride unit. So, four Marine General of the Sky and Earth, Lambros. Uh, what he does is choose a card named him uh, face down in your G zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks Vanguard, if it is the fourth battle of the turn or more, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two of your rear guards, stand them. Then, if the number of face up cards in your G zone is two or more, the units stand with this effect get power plus 10,000 until end of turn. So, just really, really powerful card. You could see how it could just crush opponents in end games really quickly. Uh, no reason not to play this card. 
This card is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, we have two Marine General of the Heavenly. So, so great. Uh, what he does is counter plus one when you're in attacks of Vanguard. If it is third battle of the turn or more, you may pay the cost. If you do that, you gets power plus 5,000 until end of the battle. Um, so, he basically works really well with, um, he works well with that, uh, um, I did make a mistake, the grade 2 that I played 2 of, uh, he works well with her actually, because if she boosts like Magnum Assault, uh, and she, and then Magnum Assault, uh, sorry, not Magnum Assault, she boosts a 12k beater, or a grade 3, and then she uses her skill to restand it, you can attack with it and give it an extra 5,000, so you get another attack, so he works well with her, um, he definitely works the best with her, um, I think Lambros works the second best, and then that's it. You, you kind of just have those two cards that can work with her, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, these two cards work well, well with her. Um, but yeah, he he even if you don't have her, he just puts on more pressure uh, with that extra five. Um, I mean, you already get so many attacks, so that extra five is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, very good card, though. And then we have two Marine General of the Heavenly Scale, Tidal Board Dragon. What it does is when this unit attack hits... A Vanguard, if it is the third battle of the turn or more, draw a card, choose up to one card from your hand and call it to rear guard. So you don't have to call a card to rear guard. It just basically gives you a plus one uh, if it hits. And it, it, you know, that always helps in Aqua Force because of, um, which is why the Penguin Soldier is an, another option you can play. Uh, that always helps in Aqua Force because of, you know, you want to get to your units to get multiple attacks. Although this deck, I don't have a problem doing that. It works perfectly well. So that's. Kind of why I don't play the penguin, honestly. Because I have the other card to just put on more pressure. Anyways, that's really about it um, for this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, remember to like and comment. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Deck will be in the description below. As always, really, really, really crazy strong deck. And that's about it. We'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos. So you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel. So you can go to my channel and check that out. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.